up everybody, Philip Bridges here, and today my uh, air nailer is broke, and I'm, uh, I gotta get back framing, so I gotta, I'm gonna take this back hub off, and we're gonna try to figure out what's wrong with it. Uh, stay tuned, and uh, we're gonna get right down into it. Today I've been using my nailing gun, and it's jammed up, it won't, it won't really fire any uh, nails. I took it up, took everything off and kind of oiled everything up and it's still doing it. So I'm gonna have to take apart everything and kind of figure out what it is. So I don't know if it's an O-ring problem or whatever, but I'm gonna find it because it's driving me nuts because it'll work and then it doesn't work and it slowly shoots the nails out and I don't have time for this. So I just want it done. So I'm gonna take the back part off. We're gonna check the, check the O-ring. Make sure that is good. These are on here pretty tight. Wish I had a better T handle, but I don't. Just wondering if something's gunked up because you're supposed to, <clears throat> you're supposed to oil these all the time, and um, it's been a while. Mike's been sitting out in the cold, so I'm sure that has messed it up some. But we're gonna figure it out. So that's one thing. Tool maintenance. Sometimes I neglect them and they bite me in the butt. So everything looks good here. The seal's all good. I don't know what's going on. The o ring is all good. Looks good. Oh, look. Let's grease it on it. Let me clean this out. Just got gunk filled up. Looks pretty clean inside. Everything's really good. This isn't that old of a nail gun either. Feel around. This looks pretty good too. This comes out. Oh, let's see what this does. We like one thing. <clears throat> see, everything looks pretty good. The spring seems to be pretty well lubricated. Everything looks pretty good. All the seals look good. So I'm lubricating it. Maybe that helps. Okay. Now let's put this back on. Hopefully we get it on right. Let's see if that made a difference. I don't know if it made a difference. If not, We'll try something else. <clears throat> okay, tired of the T-handle. I forgot I had this. It's a T-handle ratchet set from DeWalt. Not Milwaukee, but when you're in a pinch, you gotta use DeWalt. That's okay. We can't have Milwaukee everything because some tools still do the same job. 
Okay, you don't want to tighten down one side all the way. You kind of want to fully bring them all in together. That way you don't have to, you don't have it, all that pressure on one side and then you're going. God, this takes forever. <laughs> all this down. There's a lot of dirt and build up on it, so I think we just gotta clean it off. Yeah. Any little piece of dirt can really mess this up, I guess. Okay, I'm gonna grab the air hose. Lock! Thank you. I don't even need this. I just want to see it pop. Okay, I did something right because it wouldn't even barely fire before. Cool, I'm excited. We figured it out. If you have a problem with it just, it, you're pushing down and it, it just, the air, it's tr it sounds like it's trying to get through. Um, just kind of take the back part off, clean it. So that really, uh, really improved this. Um, if you like this video, uh, hit the subscribe button down below. Uh, hit a like button. I'm Philip Bridges, and uh, hopefully I uh, help you out on, uh, you know, figuring out what's wrong with your air nailer gun. Usually it's probably the back side. Just got to take the take the back off, clean, kind of clean those O-rings off probably some dirt build up in there, kind of give a little lubrication in there, get all that dirt and grime out of there. And uh, yeah, this is pretty much turned into a brand new air nailer gun, so uh, really impressed with that and it's uh, simple to do, just uh, took a little time. So uh, Philip Bridges, I'll talk to you guys later.